I messed up my academics in first year and I really hope this doesn't happen to you. Studying for MBBS is the complete polar opposite of studying for NEET and in this video I'm going to be the senior that everyone would love to have and I'm going to tell you the things that most of the seniors do not tell you. Hello everyone, I am Tanmay Bhandari and I'm a final year MBBS student at BJMC Pune. So I was always told that 10th mein achhi padhai kar lo aishi aishi 12th में अच्छे मार्क्स लाओ नीट में अच्छे मार्क्स लाओ एमबीबीएस कॉलेज में मिलने के बाद ऐश ही ऐश है सो आई फाइनली डिसाइडेड दैट एमबीबीएस में आ गए थे एंड दिस वॉज फाइनली द टाइम टू एंजॉय I enjoyed a lot in my first year and this is what I would recommend everyone to do because first year is the least academic pressure that you have all throughout your MBBS so jitna enjoy karna hai jitna you want to work on your co curriculars you can do that but at the same time we are going to apply the 80 20 rule jisme 20% mehnat karke we are going to get 80% of the results because if you know how to study if you know how much to study and if you know what to study then your MBBS life is going to be much Simpler. So first of all, I want to begin with explaining the 80-20 rule. So study advice or any advice in general is not generic. It is specifically designed for the goals that you have or the goals you are trying to accomplish. So the first point is to have clear goals in mind because the real fact is that if you try chasing everything in your life. You will in turn get nothing out of it because the fact is कि अगर तुम सब चीजों के पीछे भागोगे तो एक भी चीज अच्छे से नहीं कर पाओगे So it's completely up to you. You, you could either be someone who's like बचपन से डॉक्टर बनना है बचपन से MBBS books पढ़ना है and you are just waiting to get into MBBS so that you can learn anatomy, physiology, biochemistry and you absolutely love the subjects and then you are probably one of those people who don't need to watch any videos like this you will just be studying throughout your first year and you will have fun doing that so if you are someone who is just interested in studying interested in learning about the human body and who is just incredibly inquisitive and excited to get into mbbs it is a really good thing and you can probably study a lot and you are going to study a lot but for me this was not the case i just got into mbbs mere liye itna hype up karke rakha tha so i had to enjoy so i had decided that i was going to focus on myself focus on enjoying my college life and i was going to just have fun and enjoy myself but at the same time agar mujhe pata hota ki kin kin cheezon pe focus karna hai kaise padhna hai and kya kya topics sabse zyada important hai mera padhai time kam hota hai and uska output मुझे मैक्सिमम अमाउंट मिलता सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोना अटेम्प्ट टू डू एक्सैक्टली दैट फॉर यू सो पॉइंट नंबर वन इज टू पिक द राइट रिसोर्सेज सो मोस्ट ऑफ योर प्रोफेसर इन योर कॉलेज आर गोना टेल यू टू रीड स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स बुक्स स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स बुक्स आर द बेस्ट रिसोर्सेज दैट एनी वन कैन एवर रीड बट देयर बिगेस्ट ड्रॉबैक इज दैट दे आर रियली टाइम कंज्यूमिंग एंड दे आर नॉट हाई यूडिंग एज सच आई विल टेल यू दैट आई रेड गाइट एन इन माई फर्स्ट ईयर फॉर फिजियोलॉजी विच इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स बुक एंड आई डिड नॉट स्कोर दैट वेल इन माई physiology exam and looking back at it i am just thinking why why did i not score well well the reason is that i was reading right and wrong i was reading right and as a study book i never thought what kind of questions could be asked out of this i would just read right and according to my curiosity na sara hi fi stuff padhta tha sara complicated new technology new advances padhta tha rather than focusing on the basic sciences and the basics that are actually gonna help me at the same time you must know my friend devanshu who also read right and but who read right and in a completely different way for his first reading in right and he would literally strike out paragraph पेंसिल लेके पैराग्राफ के ऊपर क्रॉस कर देता था to know that he does not have to read this in order to study for the exam in the end jo cheez tum bar bar revise kar pate ho wohi cheez tum end mein remember kar paoge and wohi tumhara real information hai the information that you cannot recollect or revise is useless so before reading a chapter think about what you are going to learn from this chapter and what is the most important stuff that you would actually need because that is the stuff that is actually going to be tested in your exams so before you're trying to approach a certain chapter and think about what you want yourself to know and remember at the end of this chapter so now the question comes that i'm approaching something for the first time and how am i supposed to know what is important and what is not so that is where your college lectures come into play agar tumhare college mein amazing professors hai they will focus on some topics more than the other topics because they know that they are important 
for you so just note that down if you are attending your lectures properly this this happens in 1% of the cases and 99% colleges mein acche se padhate nahi hai so in that case your best friends are your seniors so your seniors will give you something called as markings so markings is one of the most important stuff that has been tested time and again in the past and this is what you must know i'm not saying that you don't need to study anything other than markings but what i'm saying is the 80 20 rule applies perfectly here jisme tum 20% effort dal ke you can get 80% of the questions correct because markings are the most important things that you must know and they cover up 80% of what the questions are asked and after covering these markings you can move on and study the other things that are less important than the markings i'm not saying ki just do the markings and everything will be perfect but focus on the markings first and prioritize that don't get into fomo or fear of missing out and that is what went wrong in my side if you don't have seniors who who are giving you markings just go and see the past year papers and agar tumhare college mein lectures acche se nahi ho rahe there are plenty of resources available online there are paid resources and there are free resources so i'm going to tell you the free resources first the best free resource online according to me is ninja nerd ninja nerd just just makes everything into a pictorial format he just breaks down everything wonderfully and the way he te- teaches physiology is amazing i had seen a few ninja nerd lectures of physiology in first year i wish i had seen all of his video lectures and i had actively like gone back to it and revised because remember if you can't revise something it's of no use the next resource that i would suggest is najib again these are all us based teachers so like technically they are not optimized for the indian curriculum but human body does not change your anatomy or physiology does not change and the basic principles of medicine do not change so that's why it doesn't make a difference even if they are foreign authors and a lot of people that i know have used these resources najib is not technically free mere time pe kuch offer tha if you see 100 lectures or something in a span of time you get your membership for free but it is not free now a lot of people have asked me about using apps from first year itself apps like prepladder dams maro bhatia whatever apps you are using it does not matter if you ask me i would personally recommend prepladder because they are the ones who sponsored a few videos on my channel in the past and i started using prepladder in third year so i can vouch for it and that's why i'm promoting it by the way this video is not sponsored by prepladder or by anyone for that matter i'm just saying it for your own benefit and the reason that i would personally go with prepladder is because their co- content is concise it completely follows my 80 20 principle they have given the most high yielding stuff and it is just amazing and i like the interface because earlier i used to think jitna zyada information utna better hoga but at the end of it when i am in my fourth year i just remember the most important things from anatomy physiology and biochemistry and they are the most high yielding things and if i was only going to remember a certain amount of information in the first place i would have just gone back and studied that information properly there is a very famous saying in medicine which goes something like you need to know a little bit about everything and everything about a few things which means that you need to know all topics super super se but jo topics bahut important hai you need to study them deeply and these apps are not taking money from you rather they are saving you time by telling you what is completely important and also they are getting you into a habit of watching online lectures which is going to come in very handy when it comes to third year and final year the next thing and the most important thing that i'm going to tell you is to learn how to study you might have been studying wrong all your life but just by studying volumes or studying a lot you might have gotten a lot done but mbbs mein utna time nahi hoga 9 to 5 college karne ke baad you might not have the energy to sit back at home and study again so best thing that you can do to make most of your time is to learn how to study research about techniques like active recall spaced repetition encoding and there are many others see pehle ke zamane mein professors padhate the students textbook se padhte the that was old but studies are evolving a lot of people abroad are using apps like obsidian notion etc to study i don't know why it's not popular in india and learning apps like obsidian and notion could 
take time in the beginning but this is the time to experiment this is the time to try out different study techniques and see what works for you because if you spend a little bit of time on these things right now it is going to save you a ton of time in the future and the last thing that probably you guys have watched a ton of videos on is the books and the resources that you need to use and i'm going to distill down what i would have used in order to follow the 8020 rule so for physiology i would have used a book called as gk pal or vd joshi according to the time i had if i had more time in my hand i would have used gk pal if i had less time in my hands i would have used vd joshi and marked all the important questions according to what my seniors told me or according to past year papers i would have watched video lectures from teplad or on ninja nerd in order to get my concepts clear and human touch and human se seekhne mein bahut zyada interactive hota hai rather than just reading from a book in the first place and for anatomy i did use vishram singh i would not have read gray's anatomy even if you would have given me 3 years in first year because honestly i just hate anatomy and jab sabse zyada kam effort mein i just want to get done with that subject but more importantly what i would have done is i would have seen a lot of diagrams agar if i am studying the femoral triangle i would have gone on google and actively search femoral triangle i would have seen the images i would have used some 3d animations of some sort in order of some apps i would have used youtube in order to learn just to have like a really good visual memory and i would have paid more attention during my dissection instead of sleeping inside the dissection hall yes i've done that and i'm guilty for doing that and i've slept a lot in my first year and i was actually famous for sleeping in college for biochemistry i have used satyanarayan and i would have gone back and used satyanarayan itself and i would have revised the important topics important tables and important pathways multiple times and for the apps i would have used notion in order to create active recall questions for myself and i would have kept testing myself whenever i wanted to revise a particular chapter other than that i would have used anki flashcards and i would have just experimented with anki flashcards and see how they work for me so guys that is it for this video congratulations that you made it into mbbs and study smart not hard i'll see you guys in the next one peace